How to save money faster. Tips. In this video, we are going to take a look at some tips as to how you can save money faster. But before we do, we would like to tell you that these videos come to you for free. In order to show support to our channel, you can like these videos if you find these interesting. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. If you're all set with it, let's move on to the tips of how we can save money faster. 1. Start with eliminating one spending habit today. They say that the future is now, and saving money in the future can start today. We all have a spending habit that we can do without. Say that it might be cutting down on a cigarette or two that you smoke or a couple of dollars you spend on a cup of coffee, which you can do without. This simple habit of cutting down on expenses will add up over a matter of a single day, and you can see the significant difference it makes in a matter of a couple of months. 2. Create a designated savings account Many people want to save some money for a particular purpose, for example, for building a personal library or buying a dream car, or opening up a cafe. If you open a savings account at a particular bank for a particular purpose, it will give you an incentive to make the necessary savings. An additional advantage of this particular way of saving is that it will cut down on the miscellaneous expenses we make. 3. Awareness of our spending habits one of the reasons we don't save as much is because we don't really know when or how we are spending our money. Our reckless spending habits only hit us when we are in dire financial problems. So you should try to write down all of the expenditures you have in the last week or two, possibly stretching back to a month. This will help you identify exactly under which headings you tend to spend a lot. Sometimes a lot of money is spent in watching games or binge drinking or dining out all of which are not must-dos. Eliminating some of these does help you to save quicker than you can imagine. 4. Try a no-spend day This is one of the simplest yet most complicated of the things to do. Having a day when you don't spend anything at all, no eating or drinking out or shopping or any other expense that is indispensable. That way, you might realize that the things you thought you couldn't do without are not really that way. You might also be tempted to try out no-spend days on other days, too. In order to get a measure of how much you've saved on a no-spend day, you can try writing the spending's temptations you have during a day and tally them. 5. Get out of debt Debt is one such thing that hinders the process of saving money. The longer you postpone paying off a debt, the larger the interest on it becomes. This means that your savings is not as effective as it can be. There is a plan that is known as a 50-30-20 rule in budgeting. What this really means is that 50% of the money you earn is spent on your needs, say fooding, rent, electricity, groceries, and other things that are a must. 30% of your earnings should be spent on your wants such as gym or other subscriptions, dining out, and other things that are pleasurable. And the remaining 20% of your income should be your savings. Even if you earn $3,000 per month, you'll have saved $7,200 in a year, which will help you get out of debt and make money. 6. Cut off social media time Social media tends to eat out a significant portion of a person's day. There are estimates which show that people spend around three to four hours a day on social media surfing YouTube and other apps. What we don't really understand is that this time could be spent in other activities that help you bolster your income. Besides, you can also spend this time learning about investment schemes and how you can compound the little savings you might have over time. The biggest money makers in the world, such as Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, say that they spend a couple hours reading every day. Perhaps you can also spend the time you'd normally spend on social media on books that teach you to manage your finances better. 7. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions and memberships There are many people who have subscribed to online magazines or newspapers that they don't bother with. The same goes out with people who have subscribed to a gym. You might have noticed that you're really upbeat about the idea, but you can't drag yourself to the gym or haven't had anything useful from magazine subscriptions. You can run through your bank statements to know the unnecessary subscriptions you have. 
8. Increase your income. One of the simplest ways to save more is by increasing your income. You can do this in a number of ways. You can ask your boss for additional work or do overtime. You can also offer other services such as babysitting, tutoring foreign students in the language that you know best, or community cleaning services. This will not only help maximize the amount of work you do or the income you generate, it will also help you build personal relationships with people and broaden the horizons of your job prospects. 9. Sell unwanted items There are a lot of unwanted items we have in our house that we don't know what to do with. There is a famous quote attributed to Will Smith. Most people buy things they don't want with money they don't have to impress people they don't care about. You might have such unwanted stuff, which you never used, but never dared to get rid of either. You can be a tad braver and look to sell such items by posting them online or in thrift shops. 10. Stop paying for convenience Paying for convenience is one of the ways that people tend to spend quite a lot. Maybe instead of paying 4 to $5 for a cup of coffee, you can brew it in your home. Instead of dining out, you can look for cooking recipes over YouTube and try making the dish at home. It is true that in your first few attempts, you might falter, but with time, you'll not only have saved money but acquired a new skill. Earning money is one thing. It covers your basic necessities. But one needs to be astute about saving for the future as well. The salaries people have don't commiserate with the rising inflation, which is why you might want to save and maximize your savings to run a business to invest in a particular scheme. You can try the tips we've just discussed to know which of them works the best for you. Let us know which ones you found the most effective in the comments below. We'll see you soon with another video. In the meanwhile, you can watch the video on the screen.